My name is Michael McNutt, and this is a St. Patrick's Day video. I'm going to start this video off with a guessing game. So I contacted two of my relatives, and somehow I talked them into sending me a video of themselves playing this guessing game. Check this out. What is this? A shamrock. St. Patrick introduced Christianity to Ireland by using a shamrock to explain the Trinity. You know, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So you may be asking a few questions right now. What does St. Patrick and a shamrock have to do with me? Why is this Michael McNutt guy talking about this right now? Point number one. Why did St. Patrick share Christianity with Ireland? St. Patrick was born in Ireland, but he moved away at a young age. He was told about Jesus and what he did on the cross. And he loved his home country so much, he felt compelled to go to his home country and tell people about Jesus. Can you think of someone that you love dearly? Do you know if they have a relationship with Jesus? Do you know if they need to be saved from stuff like depression or addictions like drugs, alcohol, and lust? Parents just split up and they feel like everything's falling apart? You know, there is somebody who's willing to save us from this stuff, right? It isn't Oprah Winfrey. It isn't Dr. Phil. It's God. Hey, I'm Patrick Flang, and I got a few verses that I'm going to read you guys. The first one's Romans 10, 13 through 15. For whoever will call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on him who they've not believed? How will they believe in him who they've not heard? And how, they, how will they hear without a preacher? How will they preach unless they're sent? Just as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news of good things. How are your friends ever going to know about Jesus if you're not the one telling them? And so now you're probably thinking, Oh, great. Now you're going to tell me that I need to go around my school, my work, my home, holding my Bible, quoting Bible verses to people and beating people over the head with a Bible. Nope. That is not what I'm going to tell you. Point number two. Let your life and your interests tell people about Jesus. And what does St. Patrick use again? A shamrock. Very easy and simple, right? Right. Think for a minute. What are you passionate about? What wrongs would you like to see made right in the world? World hunger ended? Children educated? Better baselines? The elderly taken care of and not taken advantage of? People following Jesus? Making sure everybody knows that they are worthy, lovely, and encouraged? Okay, and your next verse is Romans 12, 6 through 8. God's marvelous grace imparts to each one of us varying gifts and ministries that are uniquely ours. So if God has given you the grace gift of prophecy, you must activate your gift by using your proportion of faith that you've received to prophesy. If your grace gift is serving, then thrive in serving others. Thrive in serving well. If you have the grace gift of teaching, then actively teach and train others. If you have the grace gift of encouragement, then use it to encourage others. If you have the grace gift of giving to meet the needs of others, then may you prosper in your generosity without any fanfare. If you have the gift of leadership, be passionate about your leadership. And if you have the gift of showing compassion, then flourish in your cheerful display of compassion. Use whatever God's given you to the fullest because it's His by His grace that you have those gifts. You might be saying, is it really that simple? Yes. You don't have to be a pastor to do these things. Nothing against pastors. We need them. Take your talents, your interests, and your passions. Take what you're good at and use them as a way to show other people the love of Jesus. Another question running through your mind might be, Why me? Ain't nobody got time for that.
<laughs> Point number three. The world needs you. What? You mean somebody needs me? You must be joking. The world needs you. All right, the next verses are Matthew 5, 13 through 16, and this is Jesus talking. Your lives are like salt among the people, but if you, like salt, become bland, how can your saltiness be restored? Flavorless salt is good for nothing and will be thrown out and trampled on by others. Your lives light up the world. Let others see your light from a distance, for how can you hide a city that stands on a hilltop? And who would, and who would light a lamp and then hide it in an obscure place? Instead, a place where everyone in the house can benefit from its light. So don't hide your light. Don't hide it. Let it shine brightly before others so that the commendable things you do will shine among them. And then they will give their praise to your Father in heaven. Don't hide the gifts that God's given you. He's given them to you for a purpose. The world needs you. Your talents and what you're passionate about convictions about the wrongs in this world. The world needs you to use all of this and show them the love of Jesus. test for you all. If you can answer one, some, or all of these questions that my guest is about to ask you, you can win a prize. But what is the prize? We're going to give away something a little bit more green this time. We're going to give y'all some cash! Our prize for the winner of this contest is a $10 bill. With this money, you can buy $10 worth of stuff. You could get a meat mountain sandwich. You could buy nine pairs of reading glasses from the dollar store. You can take a $10 bill and make an origami ball out of it. You can take a $10 bill and make an origami straw out of it. You must be at least in sixth grade, but no more than 18 years old to participate. We will draw a name and announce a winner on Sunday, March 21st, 2021. At First Church in Rainbow City, Alabama. We got cash! If anybody pinches me for not wearing enough green stuff this year, I will slap you. Hey there, I've got a question for you. What is your favorite holiday, and why would it be your favorite holiday? I've got another important question for you. When was the last time you needed someone to save you? Now, this could be from a bully, or from a bad grade, or from being alone, or from needing something from someone that you needed to help save you. What talents or gifts do you possess that you could use to tell somebody about Jesus? St. Patrick used the shamrock as an example. So you should have a gift that you could use to tell somebody about Jesus. What would that be? Now you take the answer to question three and see what you could do with that answer that could influence your school, your neighborhood, friends, parents, that would be something that would be very beneficial. And what would you do with that question? My name is Jimmy Flanagan. As you can see, I'm dressed in St. Patrick's attire because I'm a very big Irishman. I'm a member of the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick. My son's name is Patrick, and I'm very passionate about uh, the Irish traditions and about the situations that Irishmen did when there was immigrants into our country. So that's the reason I'm dressed like that today. I'm also a police officer, which makes me a good Irish cop. And I wanted to explain that to you and why I have the garb on. 
So good luck on the contest and happy St. Patrick's Day.